I would say to a friend or someone that I liked. Uh, so, what is it you would like me to do for you today? I see. Okay. Oh, really? So you bought in uh, a very beloved, uh, yeah, keyboard, the gaming keyboard. <laughs> yeah, of course, gaming keyboard. Yes. Please do continue. I'm listening intently. You're looking to get this clean board, clean board, a uh, keyboard completely cleaned. Right. Well, that of course is uh, dependent on how dirty it is. Indeed, you had bought it to the right place. However, I'm not used to cleaning keyboards. You sort of a keyboard matches its owner, and the owner that would be you, who uh, appears to be incredibly uh, dirty looking. Uh, I just presume that your keyboard would in fact match the character of which I see before me right now. Yeah, so you you say it's a little bit dirty. Now I beg to differ. I I'd probably say it's a very worn out, old, crappy keyboard that is pretty much a lost cause, and you expect me to work miracles in the cleaning process to bring some life back into this beloved keyboard of yours. Okay, yeah. Well, of course, I am a specialist tech cleaner, so this is something which I can accomplish with ease, but it's dependent on if I'd like you, if I wish to do it for you. And if you understand the cleaning protocol, do do understand the cleaning protocol, what you have to do. You have been to this store before, haven't you? Right. So to know that you truly are interested that usually a customer stays with their beloved item uh, particularly someone like you to make sure that you, one you don't do a run and two you are enlightened in the cleaning process if you truly are uh, if you care about your gaming keyboard or any of the other tech item you might have bought it then you will probably feel the same sort of relaxation that your item this feeling currently as well. It's kind of like a pampering session and we treat all of our tech items very seriously here. So we would do the same with yours. So if that's something you're able to do, I'm just putting my gloves on, I'm expecting uh, a very uh, unwelcoming uh, keyboard to be given to me right now. Okay. Yeah, so if you just uh, pass me your jump, uh, maybe just leave it on the side of the desk here. Look, not, not too close, we don't want to come in at such close quarters there, do we? I wouldn't want you to pass all of that because, you know, yeah, that's right. And if you, perfect. So the protocol would be for you to stay there and me to stay here. There's a definitive uh, invisible line there where you stay at your side, I stay on my side, you know, so we don't get lost in the whole um, the borderless friendship which might be created should you come over to my border and I would want to foresee that you and I become friends or anything like that by getting in each other's personal space so you know we got to make sure that there is a boundary there so if you stay in your boundary I'll stay in my boundary this is the cleaning sector and this cleaning sector will be used to make magic happen make your keyboard relax and uh, and be Turn back to you, good as new, no doubt. So this is the gaming keyboard you have here. Okay, let's see what sort of lost cause we have here. Let's see. Well, I appreciate you bringing in the original box, but people tend to do that when the original box is intact, so not quite got it there. However, uh, I appreciate the the attempt there to make it look like you're tech savvy or something like that. Okay, so do you mind if we just take this out and give it a little examination and see what sort of lost course this is in? I mean, going by the state of your key uh, board uh, packaging, I'm, I haven't got it entirely high hopes for this, but um, you never know, it might not be as bad as all that. I see, right. Subsequently, there is also uh, a mouse in there as well. Is there not? Right. 
bed. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. Um, you've brought your whole uh, computer set up with you, I see. Uh, how fascinating of you. Um, I'm in this uh, pretty rubbish mouse pad here. Um, do you really need that? I'll give that a little clean as well. It's in a part of the package there. Right, so I'm just going to put this suspiciously um, suspect box back down by the side of the desk there. I mean, I do appreciate you attempting to um, make it all look presentable for me, but really, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, each to his own, of course, but it is, it is a nice keyboard package and uh, the images on there, I'm sure back in his heyday were of its uh, illustrative I'm sure it was the, the height of its time there in terms of uh, illustration okay so one of the first things I do with a piece of tech like this is have a little examination to inspect what sort of level of dirt there is on it we want to make sure uh, the dirt level is going from uh, 1 which is not very dirty to 10, which is of course very dirty, and it goes two more further up the scale, 11 and 12. 11 is ridiculous, and there'd be an extra cost involved. 12 is, uh, there's no hope for you, and uh, that's an uh, immediate dustbin effect. Uh, but let's hope, I don't think it's gonna reach up to that point uh, upon first inspections, but we inspect it first, see what it comes up in the scale, then we could determine what sort of clean uh, this is going to have and what's going to be best suited for your keyboard here. Okay, so I'm going to take a little look. This just requires just a couple of items here. Okay. So this is just a light brush. I'm just able to see what sort of condition this is in. special bristles on there will determine uh, what sort of level of dirt there is on there. As I've looked it down you are able to see under this special lighting we have here that the dust pieces which come off the keys, that's just the keys alone. So because there was quite a lot, no doubt that tells me there's probably a lot of hidden dirt pieces in there in grime and dust. This is commonplace for keyboards, especially for some which have been well loved and well used. However, you profess yourself to be somewhat of a gamer. I beg to differ, but uh, if whether you're into computers or something like that, if you use this as a gaming keyboard or you just use it generally and pretend to be a gamer, uh, it still accumulates dust and grime buildup. So it's come to the right place, and this is certainly a job in which I can handle and make as good as new for you. You're able to see in the crevices and cracks there where the lighting is there. So there's dust in there that will all have to be cleaned off. You'll see it inside the crevices there, the keys, there's a lot of accumulation of dust. The reason why we have a black base here. See, and uh, the dust just falls out there. So that's another indication of a very dusty uh, keyboard. Uh, usage for the keys look quite good. So upon feeling the keys there, doesn't appear to be much resistance for the keys, which is good. If it was a very dirty keyboard, then they wouldn't be pressed down fully. But being a keyboard expert, then I, I of course know uh, that that doesn't have this problem. But however, being a gaming keyboard, the slightest, tiniest bit of detail could jeopardize uh, whatever you are doing in a game. And that little bit could differentiate between you actually being successful in the game or not being so successful in the game. So that's why we get to keyboards clean regularly. So 
help out we begin the cleaning process if you are able to keep your um, discussions and uh, thoughts uh, minimize it as much as possible so I'm not distracted I can talk you through now and again what we're doing just so you know what's going on with your keyboard but I'm quietly confident that this keyboard will be one uh, which will be returned back to you as good as new how does that sound perfect well you just need to sit there and relax there's quite a process here as we go through one of the main processes there is using a specialist brush will take out all the deep dirt which has accumulated on this keyboard so how about we begin now perfect so the first thing i do is uh, use the dust blower here and this is going to get out all the dry dust
I see it is you've got to think about your keyboard being like a, at a tech spa and if your keyboard is being looked after if the right tools are being used then it will feel better and therefore work better for you and that's why the tech store is so important because we have a lot of gamers that come in here and we get all of their tech items making sure that they're always performing at their best which of course is perfect for hardened enthusiasts sponges and that's when they're dry they give a deep clean to the keys but without being too harsh from them as well use this process before everything gets wet because you can turn the keyboard upside down if there's any dust that's being collected on this then it will come off with ease as well but this is basically exfoliating the top of the keys without giving any scratches for the lettering on the keys there as well so that's not going to be ruined so there's tools like this as we use on the way which are very useful and beneficial uh, part of this cleaning process i just don't know uh, if you are really a layman when it comes to uh, something like this perhaps you're a little bit illiterate when it comes to tech cleaning of course uh, you profess yourself uh, to be a gamer but that there tends to be a certain look for a gamer you know someone who's looking enthusiastic or something like that you know, who gets relaxed when they watch their tech get uh, massaged and cleaned up again uh, you don't look like any of those things in fact i'm not quite sure uh, where you look like you're from uh, but it certainly isn't around here is it no i didn't think so uh, you look like you've you've come straight from the pac-man era or something like that i think this sort of technology eludes you that's just my uh, general assumption of you uh, as i'm able to uh, see you in person and uh, this keyboard which has come before me this looks way beyond you really the fact that it's rgb there and it's got sort of lighting on there uh, just tells me that it could be a little bit uh, more advanced and someone who appreciates rgb is someone who tends to be into gaming however your attire uh, it's it's like matches the sort of aesthetic of this in terms of cleanliness uh, but it's not the right sort of clothing you would, a gamer would wear they would have something a bit more sophisticated in terms of uh, comfort levels maybe a little bit looser but it's still classy like a lot of the gamers here i'm afraid that eludes you there as well which is why i'm a bit stumped as to whether i should believe you or not anyway that's a uh, pleasantries exchange there for a little bit i'm just going to go back to cleaning your keyboard wireless but in fact uh, there's the wire so uh, you did it to help me clean 
Oh, of course you could, I'm, I'm sure.
that's all been thoroughly cleaned there and you will see as well that in between all the crevices and on the top that the cleaning agent is a special formulation which will take off the dirt it will dissolve which of course is perfectly fine for your tech but because uh, it's a specialist tech cleaning as store here that this formulation specially formulated to make sure that once it's all dry there'll be sort of residual grip added to the keys as well so if you are indeed a professional gamer such as you uh, profess yourself to be uh, then you will notice a difference with those keys um, pressing that as well we just let it dry for a little bit longer there uh, before we proceed uh, but one of the things I'd just like to say which usually indicates whether someone uh, is you know a professional clean uh, keyboard enthusiast as you say you are uh, certain keys there would be a little bit of where uh, where your hands would mainly be for uh, directional buttons and uh, keys that you would use spacebar there should be a little bit of wear on there there isn't any w you think there would be and e d r not really the arrow keys doesn't appear to be anything there escape button even not really the end button i don't really see anything and the f keys say if you're using uh, force powers or something like that then unfortunately there's no wear and tear on there whatsoever if you look after your keyboard of course you do i'm sure you do what games is it you play again you like the retro games of course yeah okay mm -hmm. uh, yes uh, i know there's a retro game store here okay you don't need to try and impress me with your uh, your knowledge for retro games i'm sure you've been in there so what games is it you do play a uh, spider-man 2 uh, that's better on PlayStation. Uh, what other games? Uh, so you are quite partial to the, uh, the LucasArts games, I see. Yeah. Well, you can't be very good at it because these keys, like I said, are in almost in brand new condition. Now I've got them uh, back to uh, this cleaning, cleaning itself. Uh, however, if you were really good at it, then these uh, letters wouldn't be as clear as they are now. And you'll notice this as well with your RGB lighting. It will look even brighter, even better. We'll test it out uh, later on as well. But I think that's enough time here. We can move on to the next process. I'll just go around the edges here of the keyboard with my tools. Um, but this is mainly a brush um, clean here, something that's a deep and thorough clean. So we won't use anything too abrasive, but... It's usually these lines which Oh, the dust keepers and the hoarders and uh, you wouldn't want it interfering with your RGB lighting so that's why I use this tool making sure that the cleaner formulation goes everywhere where it needs to go and it appears to have done its job it's just basically a little bit of outlining and it could be a crevice or something like that to be perfectly fine to me so I'm just going to move back onto the brush because I found a spot here which can just require a little bit more attention I don't know if you you can see that but there's just a tiny bit there
bottom of the keyboard is in surprisingly good health so we won't go on to any of that even the corners look really good as well but we just push around the edge make sure there's no dust build up there where there shouldn't be really anyway that's perfect There's some lighting around the edge, so let's make sure that all of those, those pieces are well polished so you will get maximum effect for your RGB lighting there. That's looking very nice to me. So, usually at this point, we give a little spray with some air. Let's see if we uh, should do that. Perhaps we should wear some protective goggles there. Oh, you should be alright, I think. Well, I 
I'm sure that you noticed the lights on your RGB keyboard are now crystal clear and that looks really good. I think we've done an absolutely amazing job for this keyboard. I mean, it's pretty much in brand new condition again and that grip, you'll be able to hear, feel it on there as well. So we'll give it a little bit of a key test there to make sure you're satisfied with the result there whilst you admire the RGB lighting also. yourselves you're probably a, bit, a little bit oblivious to but to me I'm able to see all these things and might I say we've done an amazing job on your keyboard so I'd like to congratulate you for being able to stand nice and quietly and still on hopefully you felt relaxed during that process and I think that you actually were which now denotes to me that you are in fact a gamer because you understood the importance and uh, how relaxing it is um, to get something like this looked after and you understood that it's something important for your for your future gaming and uh, hopefully something you enjoyed there as well something very satisfying about watching your tech items get clean it almost makes you want to fall asleep However, I wouldn't recommend that in my store because uh, I would have to throw it out as well. But it makes you feel like it. Well, I'm not going to put it back in that uh, terrible box of yours. I'm going to give it to you like this and you can do with it as you wish. Purely because I wouldn't want to be responsible for any dirt that's in that box, which was probably accumulated by the state of it. Um, because it's quite open there as well, uh, we can get you a nice bag to put over here and uh, so you can take it away and it'll remain nice and looked after for you. Well, that's perfect. Well, is there anything else I can do with you? Because I won't do it. Uh, that was just uh, what we've got for you today. So I hope you enjoy your keyboard and your new gaming experience. You'll feel like as good as new. Uh, it's going to bring you lots of enjoyment. So take care of yourself. Cheerio.